8th Osage Nation Congress to order. It is our 10th special session. Today is January 31st, 2024. The time is 10 a.m. and we are on day two of our agenda. Congressman Hamilton, will you please say our morning prayer? Yes. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <clears throat> High and of Wakanda, Wakanda Asian King. Father, I ask you to be our be in our heart and minds as we come together as one people under your watch, Lord. Please be with the families and homes represented here. And please be with the families who are putting loved ones away for the next few days. We ask for you, please be with our men and women in uniform, wherever they may be. All these things I ask in your precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Roll call, please. Congressman Big Horse. Present. Congressman Hamilton. Here. Congressman Keene. Present. Congresswoman Lemon. Congressman Maker. Congressman Potts. Congresswoman Redcorn. Here. Congresswoman Rivard. Here. Second Speaker Shaw. Present. Congresswoman Stabler. Present. Congressman Tillman. Here. Speaker Goodfox. Present. Assistant Present. Chief Walker. Here. We'll let the body know that Congressman Potts and Congressman Maker notified that they would be absent today, but possibly here for committee meeting. <clears throat> Next, we are on approval of the journal. Madam Speaker, Congresswoman Shaw, under bills and resolutions on first reading, ONCA 2420, um, it says $2,608, $5 instead of 80 to something small. Thank you. Madam Speaker, Congresswoman, motion to approve the journal of January 30th, 2024 is amended. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying yes. 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 Any opposed say no. It passes. Thank you. Speaker, uh, Congresswoman Lemon informed me she's not able to hear anything. Thank you. Speaker. Congressman, or I'm sorry, Assistant Chief. Y yesterday I listened in um, throughout the committee meetings and I could hear about half of you perfect and the other half either nothing at all or just very faint. <laughs> Madam Speaker. Of course. <laughs> yes, Congressman, actually, Congresswoman yeah, Lemon, is that you? It is, thank you very much. I just wanted to make sure you all could hear me and that I was accounted for for attendance, thank you. Okay. We are now on reports of select committees. Congresswoman Rebar. Okay, 
Good morning. Thank you, Speaker. Good morning, Treasurer. Good morning, Rebecca. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Assistant Chief. So the Appropriations Committee met yesterday and we discussed ONCA 2419 and uh, there was a due pass with yes votes from Revard Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. We also discussed, oh wait, I guess I should read the title, I'm so sorry, an act to amend ONCA 23-33, an appropriation for the Wajaji National Cemetery to change the recipient of the appropriation from the executive branch to the cap asset fund. <clears throat> the next bill was 2420, an act to amend 2195 to provide supplemental appropriations to the executive branch and non-tribal funds in the amount of $102,685 and to establish an alternate effective date the uh, final committee action was due pass with yes votes from Revard Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. We also discussed bill number ONCA 2421, an act to amend 2203 to provide supplemental appropriations to the executive branch in the amount of $55,633 and to establish an alternate effective date. The final committee action was due pass with yes votes from Revard, Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, Red Corn. We also discussed ONCA 2422, an act to amend 2387, an appropriation for restricted land maintenance to modify the appropriation by reducing the amount of 806, I'm so sorry, 806,500 to establish an alternate effective date. Um, the final committee action was due pass with yes votes from Revard, Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. We also discussed ONCA 2423, an act to amend 23106 to provide a supplemental appropriation to tribal works in the amount of 560000 and to establish an alternate effective date. Final committee action was a due pass with yes votes from Revard Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. We also discussed bill number 2425, an act to amend 2383 to, to provide appropriation modifications and supplemental appropriations to the executive branch in the amount of $1,013,286 of non-tribal funds and to establish an alternate effective date the final committee action was a due pass, voting yes, Revard Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. We also discussed bill number ONCA 2426, which is an act to amend 2294 to provide supplemental appropriations to the executive branch in the amount of $346,109 of non-tribal funds and to establish an alternate effective date. The final committee action was a due pass. Yes, voting yes were Revard, Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. And lastly, we discussed ONCR 2409, a resolution to support a grant tribal match in the amount of 45,000 to the uh, Women, Infants, and Children WIC for the summer EBT program. And the final committee action was a due pass, voting yes. Revard Shaw, Hamilton, Stabler, Good Fox, and Red Corn. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. We are now on introductions of bills and or resolutions. We are now on motions and notices. Speaker. Congresswoman Revard. Yes, thank you. The Appropriations Committee will meet um, this morning at 10.30 until 2 p.m. Thank you. Madam Speaker. Congresswoman Shaw. The Congressional Affairs Committee will meet today beginning at 2.30 until 4 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. So um, just a quick announcement. We only have... Um, <clears throat> a few things remaining 
Commerce, Gaming, and Land is scheduled to meet tomorrow. It has one resolution. And uh, thanks to the sponsor, Congresswoman Rivard, for doing such a good job before session started um, of support documentation and meeting with executive on all of these non-tribal uh, bills. We actually got through a lot yesterday in appropriations meaning that um, we only have a few things remaining and she has scheduled a meeting today and then also for Friday. Potentially, I know we said I said we might go into Monday or Tuesday of next week. Given that appropriations only has a few things remaining and there's only one uh, resolution in commerce, gaming and land, we could potentially be done on Friday. And I don't see the need for us to come into session tomorrow. I think we should just continue to get through the committee meetings and get things moved out and we can um, come in on Friday, see where we're at and make a decision then if we're going to fast track or go into next week. So I um, just wanted to say that much and I will entertain a motion to adjourn until Friday at 10 a.m. So moved. Motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying yes. 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 Any opposed say no. No. One no. Thank you. We're adjourned until Friday at 10 a.m.